Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Um, yes, I have my camera precariously balanced on three boxes here so that I can get high enough to actually get this, this journal in shot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I cannot zoom my camera out any further and it's just too big. So, anyway, this is Giovanna. She is our big, massive atlas journal. Um, for all intents and purposes, she's finished. So I thought we would have a quick flip through. So she has a awesome closure. It's this um, stretchy belt that just unhitches like so. Um, it can get bigger, so you can put more in her if you really want to. <laughs> But yeah, it just seemed to be made for this journal. One, it expands to a great distance and two, it sort of matches everything. So anyway, I really like it. That's what I'm using to keep her closed. Now, measurements, bear with me. She is 40 centimeters or about 16 inches tall she is 26 centimeters or about 10 and a half inches across and her spine is um <laughs> i don't have my glasses on 80 centimeters or about three inches so there you have it and she has four signatures um that are bound through the cover I will show you her spine. Here we are. I'm basically hoping I c you can see everything um, because I can't see in my camera now because it's up too high. <laughs> I'm having to stand up and do this. So yeah, she's a big journal and she weighs a ton. So I cannot imagine what postage is gonna be. We will sort that out when we come to it. For now, here she is in all her glory. I love this cover. I have left it basically just as it is. Um, I replaced the spine. So we have some suede leather um, as our spine cover and this very beautiful ribbon just to finish off the edges. Here is the inside of her cover. I tried to keep as much of the original cover on the inside as well. Um, yeah, that's just some painted paper bag, just covering the spine and making everything neat and tidy. Here we just have a page. <laughs> These are all Franken page papers. Um, yeah, I was not going to find paper this big unless I went and purchased something. I'm not prepared to do that. That's not what junk journaling is all about for me. So I made paper. Um, these are little um, cutouts from the back of a postcard box. I've got several postcards in a box. And there was a picture of each little postcard um, on the back. So I cut them out and covered them with... Um, what's that stuff called? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> glossy accents. Glossy accents, that's it. Cover it with glossy accents so they're... Um, yeah, they're kind of cool. I like them, so I just stick them on random things sometimes when I can find a spot for them. So this is just a little um, decoration on the side of the page. This is the back of an envelope which is built into the page. Um, this was the cover of a sketchbook that I picked up at a um, thrift store. It was actually free, this. Um, they were tossing it out, so yeah. It was pre-loved, pre-used. <laughs> Here is the big envelope that is built into the page. Um, it just has a little cluster on the front there. Um, I just did this little bit to stop it being sticky. And there is a bunch of antique and vintage book pages tucked into there. You will see a lot of brown paper bag. Um, they're large and... Yeah, made decent pages. Uh, this has all the logos covered with just um, house paint. 
There are all sorts of pages and bits of pages in here. This is from a Greek Bible, I believe. There's jelly prints, there's washi tape, there's intuitive writing, there's all sorts of stuff going on. This is a piece of um, doily that's had beeswax um, ironed into it, just because I had it lying on my desk and it was interesting. Uh, this is just a little tuck made out of um, whatever was lying on my desk. <laughs> it just has a few little bits and pieces tucked into it. Uh, this is one of my big side pockets and we have some vintage antique book page, a uh, big tag and just a few little bits and bobs. On the other side, I'm really hoping you can see all this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get high enough to, ch <laughs> to check. I can push it up just a little bit more, I think. All right. Um my desk was tidy it would be better but yeah can't have everything more antique vintage book pages in this side uh, a piece of ephemera from oh 1970s or 1960s um, this one's not dated they're usually dated uh, and just a little envelope with a few bits and pieces in it and um, an open envelope you can journal on the inside or you can glue it and make an envelope for yourself uh, this is just a page border made out of sewn together scraps of material. They're not, um, of, sorry, um, paper. They're not actually glued. They're just sewn down the middle, so they're quite loose. So it makes quite a cute tuck spot for things. So I've just tucked a piece of ephemera in there. That's actually just printed ephemera and it's had beeswax ironed into it. Uh, these are the little... Um, Hangy tags that we made that go over the um, the page and I've just got a couple of um, vintage and antique book pages tucked in there. It's a piece of my rust dyed cloth I've just pinned that to this paper bag page and there's the other side and again some more papers. This is a um, well it's a pocket <laughs> with some more papers and another one of those open envelopes. Um, this opens up and it has a lot of writing space in it. Got quite a substantial little pad of paper in there. So yeah, that's a nice addition if you want to be doing some writing because a lot of these pages like this are, you know, less useful to write on but quite decorative. Um, I have tried to give you some writing space in here, but I have tried to add some when I can as well. Um, this is um, a book cover. This is an old library book and it was covered in this um, old plastic and I just, I liked it, so I left it on there. <laughs> There's just a few bits and pieces tucked into a little um, ephemera holder in there. some of my mark making with ink that's one of my intuitive writing pages just done on um, brown paper bag you could certainly write over that with a black pen or something it's just white um, sumi ink so it's permanent won't bleed whatever you put over the top of it these are the original pages from the journal they have been obviously coffee dyed but I thought I would like to add some of those just for the continuity of the whole thing. Just a paper ruffle made out of offcuts of jelly prints. Um, there's a few of these little found word sayings here, there and everywhere. I just popped those on pages when they seemed appropriate. There's a cover of a pattern um, envelope some children's book page, some Japanese newspaper. There is all sorts of stuff in here. <laughs> a few bits of ephemera tucked in that side of the book cover. There is page tabs and several of them have got um, little danglies hanging from them. 
This was just a cute little thing that I picked up in a thrift store somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where half this stuff comes from or what it was in its previous life because by the time I get it, it's broken. That's why I buy it because nobody else wants it. <laughs> I have to give all the things home, all the things. So, um, yeah, here's some um, just. I was playing around with spray inks um, on book pages. This is just a little flip out for a bit of writing space. Nothing too dramatic there. Um, just a one of the um, pages from this um, atlas folded into a pocket and a bunch of um, papers, vintage and antique papers tucked in. I just love these pages. Yeah. And there's little bits of writing space here, there and everywhere. It would look really effective once you've used it as a journal if that's what you, you know, you're into. You know, just with little bits of writing here, there and everywhere, it would be quite effective, I think. Again, more house paint on paper bag. Just all sorts of papers and pages just stuck together. And made into about the same size so that they would all fit together. It's a jelly print over a book page. Again, one of those little um, 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 tag, double-sided tag businesses. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have names for these things. You know what they are. They're, it's a bit of paper folded over the page. It's a tag. Anyway, <laughs> it's a tuck spot with some more vintage and um, antique papers tucked into it. Some of these are very delicate. This is like so thin and some of them are quite thick. This is like card almost. So yeah, it's interesting the difference in the papers back then. Um, yeah, well paper seems to be pretty much of a muchness now but Back in the days of yore, paper was all different and often, even in the same book, there was a lot of different paper, so I find that super interesting. Um, just, yeah, again, some playing around with spray inks on, um, I think that was um, encyclopedia pages. Um, pretty picture out of a gardening book. Well, actually, I think it's a flower arranging book, but yeah some lovely washi um, this paper was um, coffee dyed with some photographs that were printed on the bubble jet printer um, yeah there was a problem with the printing and I didn't want the photographs anymore and I thought you know what I know they're gonna do something interesting if I coffee dye them so yeah I have all this bleed on these pages and I love it it looks great <laughs> Uh, just a sheet of children's scrapbook paper with um, some jelly printing on it. I did a few of these in here. Um, yeah, they were glossy pages out of um, uh, encyclopedia type of books. So I popped um, some napkin over the top um, just to tone it down a bit and yeah, age it up and grunge it up a bit. I like it. I did leave some of them without that treatment, so yeah, it gives you an idea of something you can do if you don't like that sort of look. Um, you could always cover it with a piece of paper or something as well if that's what you would like to do. This is a belly band made out of the leftovers of one of my woven paper um, panels that I make out of my glue pages. Um, it was just an off-cut after I made a journal cover and it has a lot of ephemera tucked into it. <laughs> I can probably still more fit more stuff under there because it's quite loose but yeah um, she was just getting so big and chunky I wasn't sure if I should stop or not. <laughs> Some more of my intuitive writing scraps. Um, yeah, I just love the way, I hope you can see that, Love the way the, the white ink picked up the colour from the um, spray inks that were on the paper. 
here's another pocket with a big bundle of ephemera in it. There's all sorts going on. There's printed ephemera, there's um, antique book pages. Um, this is actually a, we went to a restaurant and well, just a, you know, like a pub restaurant and they had their cutlery in these little things. So I collected everybody's of course and put them home with me and thought, oh, that makes such a cute little tag pocket. It does, I think it does. <laughs> So, yeah, I can get excited about anything, trust me. Um, this was a, a leaf that I ran through, a sort of leaf skeleton. I don't know if you can see what that looks like. I ran it through my um, uh, laminator and it got jammed and wrinkled up and I thought it was interesting. So that's in there. Um, this is an interesting little postcard. It's um, from, well, it looks Chinese. Um, but there is, I don't know if you can tell, some line drawing over some of the um, elements on the postcard and they glow in the dark. So yeah, just so you know, <laughs> little glow in the dark postcard. Here's another dust cover from a book just with some ephemera tucked in. Um, yeah, a big tag, uh, a couple of big journal cards and some um, printed ephemera. Another big pocket made out of the pages out of this atlas and a lot of ephemera stuffed in there as well. Some music paper behind that, some more playing with inks. Um, that was just paint scraping on a paper bag. And jelly prints. Some of this jelly printing is quite textural. Um, some of this paint was quite old and sort of a bit dry. And it ended up being very, very textural when it was dry. It's interesting, you can hear it. <laughs> this is another just a writing space flip out spot um, just on one of the original pages from the atlas. Again, some of that playing with inks on book pages. Uh, just a bit of um, wool there <laughs> threaded through the sides of a you know, notebook page or music. It's the other side of that dust cover again with some um, vintage book page and some um, just tags and well sorry um, journal cards and whatnot. This is um, batch dyeing. That's a big piece of iron that was resting against the, the page. I always find that kind of interesting. Uh, another one of those big pockets made out of the Atlas page with another big pile of ephemera tucked in. So much ephemera in here. Um, yeah, the, it's a big, big book and it took a lot of ephemera. So <laughs> there's all sorts in here, but there is a lot of book page um, ephemera, like oh, vintage book pages and whatnot. Um, even a lot of the pages are made with vintage book page. So yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things to look at, find, um, cover up if you don't like the look of. There's another piece of broken jewelry that was floating around and has a new home on this page tab. And another one of those um, encyclopedia page pictures that I covered with napkin. Here is a, just a smaller pocket that's made out of an index page out of um, a larger book. Um, I found these interesting sort of photographs of things. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. It's quite textural. Um, they were in that um, sketchbook that I mentioned at the beginning that was being thrown out at the um, recycling centre. Uh, so I just popped them in here because they were large and um, apparently that is Cat Stevens. So... <laughs> There you go, you have a photograph of Cat Stevens or a picture of Cat Stevens. So, um, Again, some odd ephemera. There's a little pouch with an altered slide in it. Um, there's some photographic um, 
negatives and journal cards and book page. Here's one of those little books we made with the handles from the um, paper bags the other day. Again, more book pages, more tags, more journal cards. Um, you'll see a few of these scattered throughout. Um, they're just large stamps that I mounted on some brown paper bag and sewed down. Um, yeah, they're just um, faux stamps from a stamp catalogue. They're just huge, so they really sort of um, lent themselves to this sort of sized tome, if you like. <laughs> they needed a big book to go into. Uh, just pages out of an old shipping book. Another one of those hangy tags um, with some vintage book page. And on the other side as well. Uh, here's one of the um, cutouts that were sent to me by the lovely Bonnie where she does her scallop squares. Um, she stamps them out of there and sends me the outsides because she's a lunatic. <laughs> so I made this out of it. It's just a piece of brown paper. It's stuck down to a piece of um, dictionary page. Uh, just with some stamping behind it and um, yeah there's two pockets there's one behind the dictionary page and one behind the brown paper there and it's full of book pages again it's just a little pocket made out of one of those faux stamps with just a few little bits of ephemera tucked in um, and another one of those big faux stamps uh, just as a bit of a weight for this envelope that's built into the page and inside there, there's a photo frame sort of business. Um, I'll show you what that is. I have this book of, I guess it was a photo, your, you know, a, an album for your photos. So I just popped one of those pages in there. So a bit of something interesting to put your own photographs in or artworks or whatever. Um, again, yeah, this is built into the page. It's not separate to the page. Here is the dust cover of that um, Tall Ships book that you just saw a page out of. Um, again, with a lot of ephemera and one of those large sort of photographs from the um, art book that was being thrown away. Again, one of those just... Um, decorative strips down the side with a few little envelopes and whatnot tucked into it just for fun and another ruffle made out of um, jelly print with just a little tag tucked into it because I could <laughs> uh, yep more atlas page with another flip out for writing on This is um, coffee dyed in the sun with um, an old chain laying on it, rusty old chain. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Get some interesting marks. The other side of that um, tall ship's book dust cover. There's an envelope with some bits of ephemera. One of my big um, mathematics flashcards. And some ephemera tucked in there. Again, a smaller pocket. I say a smaller pocket. It's bigger than pockets in most of my journals, but it does look very small on these pages. Um, made out of the index page of a, a book, a larger book. Uh, just again with a bunch of ephemera tucked inside. Here's one of my little dangly, I don't know, <laughs> decorative bits and bobs. <laughs> um, yeah, these unhook if you really wish them to. Um, Elsa just sort of dangles there. And this is, um, again, just a piece of broken jewellery.
This is Bulgarian. Yes, Bulgarian. Um, I believe that is a page out of Quran. You will find Bible pages, Quran pages, religious books, all sorts in my journals. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I just try and save things from landfill and what I do with them I think is a lot more respectful than letting them rot under tons of garbage so if it's a problem for you I do apologize but um yeah I'm not gonna stop sorry <laughs> here's a couple more envelopes that are built into pages um or into a page just with some ephemera tucked inside them Another envelope from um, a pattern. These were patterns of um, crochet, just in, in a booklet sort of business. Some old crossword puzzle page, some um, just printed over book page. There's another writing space flip out. Again, some paint scraping, um, me just messing around with paints on encyclopedia page. These are some um, playing around with spray inks just on sketchbook paper. Some knitting. Again, some of that very textural um, jelly printing. another little pocket made out of brown paper bag it has some ephemera inside it and it's a tuck at the back with some bits and pieces in it as well and again a big pocket made out of a piece of this atlas a page of this atlas with copious amounts of ephemera tucked into it <laughs> these are pages that have a different atlas and again, one of those um, jelly print ruffles that with just one of those open envelopes tucked into it. And another little pocket made from a large faux stamp with a couple of bits of ephemera tucked inside. Here is another notepad, um, just with a little bit of decorative um, stamping on a tea bag on the front of it quite a few pages in there another po um, side pocket that is made out of atlas page and again more ephemera and a little notebook tucked in there another one of those strange photographs jelly print on book page and that as well and that's it that is the end of Giovanna <laughs> can you believe it's huge <laughs> honestly this is the most massive journal I have ever made and you can see she's definitely got a bit of stuff going on. So, yeah. Um, if you take all the ephemera out, she does close nicely. So, if you prefer that look and, um, yeah, you're interested in her, you can certainly do that. Um, if you purchased her, you would be able to um, take a lot of this ephemera out. And, yeah, it would sit quite nicely. Um, it latches easily together um, you can pop the the belt buckle either on the um, open mouth of the journal or somewhat more on the front cover which I kind of prefer so yeah there you go that's her that's Giovanna Ugh. and she's from the top can you see that yeah 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed your look through her. I'm sure it's a lot longer than I expected it to be. I feel like I've been talking for hours. Um, I will ap apologise prior to looking at the video for any of my hair, arms, body parts that end up in shot. Um, yeah, this was a difficult one to film. So <laughs> I'm going to leave you with this now and yeah, dismantle my very dodgy camera stand before it falls on me and um yeah eventually giovanna will be in my etsy store um it will take me a while to work out postage and whatnot because like i say she weighs a ton and she is huge so please bear with me if you're interested she will turn up there um but it may take a few days so <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with me and having a look through Giovanna with me. Um, I love her. She has been a labour of love. I've so enjoyed making her pages and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I hope you love her as much as I do. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming along. I'll see you next time. Bye.